Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm answering a YouTube viewer comment. It was on my indoor mapping video, and essentially it was about desks, workstations, and assets with that indoor mapping feature. So if I scroll down here to my comments, I had a couple of nice ones. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Olga, Fernando, and AM. Um, but Fernando, just about a day ago, asked, hey, is it possible to manage the desk and attach an IT asset to each? And the answer is a big, big yes, you definitely can. Um, I wanted to make a video because I wanted to show you rather than reply in the comments. So let's take a look. The cool thing about this is I get to show you a neat menu item and it's called space administration, all right? So the workplace um, service delivery apps come with all different kinds of things and one of them is spaces. So on the other video, I was talking about campuses and buildings and floors and um, we also can get on the level of areas and rooms and spaces. So I've got spaces up here behind me already. If I go to the settings here, I'm just going to scroll down to space type. So I'm going to put that in here and then we're going to group by space type just to see what's in there. So I'm going to right click up here, group by space type and notice one of my options is actually already in my demo environment, workspace or desk. And I've got 4,623 of them. And you can see all the different places and locations they are. So yes, you can get down to the desk level. I think the use case here that's really important would be reservation management. If you're like managing people coming in, hoteling or reserving desks, definitely wanna manage desks there. The second part of Fernando's question was, well, what about assets? So I wanted to answer that by actually showing you again. So let's go to the computers. Um, at computers with an S and we'll see I'm gonna go to the configuration items We'll start it there and we'll get our way to the asset So I've got a bunch of computers just ignore the fact that they're Windows XP professional They are not Windows XP professional We got rid of all those years ago and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna actually open up the asset instead of looking at the Configuration item if you haven't used IT asset management and service now there is a distinction between assets and configuration items assets are where we store information like who it's assigned to, where is it located, stuff like that. So notice, uh, just above my head, I don't need to move it, I've got department, I've got company, and importantly, this one is in Midland Road, Poway, California, okay? So out of the box, Fernando and everybody else, no, there's not a way to associate an asset with a particular desk, but it's really easy to configure. So let's go in here into form design, and I'm just gonna add a reference field to space, uh, or spaces within ServiceNow, and we'll be able to associate a desk with that particular space. Now, I would advise it's probably going to be a little hard to keep up with, especially with assets that might move, but maybe you've screwed it down and you're positive it's going to stay there. So how do we do it? I'm going to go over here to field types on this tab right there, and oh, by the way, you have to be an admin. You can't do this unless you're an admin, and I'm going to choose a field type of reference. We're going to reference another table within ServiceNow, in particular the space table. I'm going to drop it right under here under location. So location is going to be my new reference field and I'm going to use this little gear icon you can see right here and I'm going to configure that new field that I'm creating on this table for hardware or for a computer asset. So we're going to call this designated space, right? I'm like kind of leaving the possibility that hey this is where the asset is supposed to be um, but may not be if it's not where it's supposed to be. Um, so we're gonna look for spaces. So I'm just gonna type in space and I'm gonna see a whole bunch of stuff, great. There's lots of the word to use space and service now. But if I scroll down here, I've got the core space table within service now. If you've got the workplace service delivery apps, you're gonna have access to this table. I'm gonna close that and hit save. That's gonna update the form. It's actually gonna create the field on the table reference it to the space table and take care of all that stuff for you. And then we're gonna be able to see what this looks like on the form and associate that. While we're waiting for this to scroll all the way across, this does take a little second as it's doing all the different sections. Is there's some rules that we could probably put in place, I'm not gonna do it in this video, to say, hey, look at the location that the asset's currently at, and let's only show the spaces that are actually configured for that particular location. So you wanna be thoughtful when you're adding fields and planning this to make sure you do it the right way and you make it easy for everyone to understand what's going on. My form has saved, it's not showing here yet, so let's click refresh or reload the form, and we should see underneath the location the designated space field that we just added for this asset. So there it is, 
no trickery, designated space. If I click on this, I'll be able to see all the different spaces. And if you remember, the there was a field called space type. So let's go ahead and search for that field. And I want to say, show me only the particular space types. I don't want to see restrooms or fire extinguishers or anything like that. So we're going to do space type and we're going to do contained. And I'm just going to type in desk right? Because we saw that when we filtered on that, that there was a bunch of ones that had desk. So if there's all my desk, I can go ahead and click one and I can associate it with my particular asset. And we can see here, um, my head's kind of in the way on that one, that if I hover over the record information for B3.0047, that it is a space type of workspace desk. And so Fernando, to answer your question, yes, you can have desks managed in your maps, and yes, you can associate assets. You got a little bit of work to do in order to create that relationship between assets and those spaces or those desks, but it can definitely be done. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in spaces, desks, in service now and managing those. And until next time, don't forget, always be learning.